So if you missed out a video I made, uh, I think it was two days ago, where I picked up every single festival character and used them on their best, or what I believe to be their best team. Uh, in that video, I it wasn't geared. In that video, I had a match where Bon, like, Bon alone soloed another full Bon team with Holy Relic, 6-6, six, six, like the whole nine yards, and my Bon soloed his whole Bon team. So I was thinking, does Bon even need stuff? I can probably just pick up Marmus, right? Toss in his ultimate, because of course with the Holy Relic, he gets the ultimate turn one. And probably just wipe people, like it's no tomorrow. And I'm playing ungeared, because Marmus needs um, all the help he can get. He does <laughs> I don't have you gear for him, obviously. Um, and I could use just being on a more even playing field. And I think this might actually just work. Marmus with Bon, lowering their defense and then attacking with Bon, it's probably gonna go crazy. So we're facing an assault melee. Um, let's go with the the usual, and let's debuff them. Their defense. I could just turn one, just alt. But I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on a little bit. Oh, he's going for the ult? No, he's not. Okay. I'm gonna hold on a little bit because um, what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna pop in. Oh, mm. I kind of want to see how much damage I'm gonna do. I really do. Just at level two, max passive, no blue card. As, this is just for science. Okay, I just want to see the damage. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was quite a lot. <laughs> um, that was quite a lot. Yeah. You're not going to kill me, bro. You're not going to kill me. I, I don't know how to tell you this, but you're not going to kill me. Okay. That was a good test. That was a really good test. Oh my. Okay. Uh, Terry got for it, Merlin. So, I also want- Ooh, going first. I also wanted to be uh, playing ungeared. Especially because, um... In ungeared is where I feel like a lot of people are focusing most of their time on. And their stamina. Because it's where you get the gems, you know? The gems are, uh, are big. Okay, okay. The defense lowering lasts for three turns, so we can just confidently use the card. I guess I'll attack as well, because why not? Just for uh, the sake of space. I'm going to take uh, yeah, a counter, but it's fine. It's fine. Ooh, okay. If he doesn't seal me again, we can do some big damage here. Okay, he's going straight for attacking. We're gonna ult, pop in the blue card and level 2. That's what we're gonna do. The blue card is gonna be great as well for the for the HP on my Marmus so he doesn't die. Because, I mean, after he ults, his duty is done. But still. So, Terry is also lowering my, uh, my HP. So I'm not gonna do as much damage as I wish I would, but it's fine. Yeah, Godfrey took a lot of damage. Merlin didn't take as much because of obviously her passive. This and these attacks should be should be it. He's gonna put in the uh, the counters. No. Does he not have counters? He has one counter. He should put the counter first to raise his stats. Why would he? Okay. Very confusing. Uh, well, since that's the case, I'm gonna max out my passive first, and then attack. Terra's level 1 counter is not that scary. Oh, there's no way Merlin survives. <laughs> Look at that HP! 
Look at that HP. Merlin really survived with nothing. And the match is done. No matter what he does, I have a punk card. That's not killing me. Uh, the match would have been done so much quicker. If not for Terry. Terry, lowering my stats was huge. Oh, he doubling down. Well, I'm sorry to tell him. But, um, nothing's gonna stop this bond ultimate. <laughs> no increased stats slash lowering stats is gonna stop it. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Going for that ult- Oh no, he's gonna get the ultimate cage from my marmots. No. No, don't do that. <laughs> That's actually not that bad. Like, you know, you're not- you can't, like, know that you're gonna face a marmus. <laughs> so tough. Uh, like, th this is such, it's a bot, but this is such a lucky match, like the stupidest, luckiest matchup he could actually, f like, possibly want is to face a Marmos, which literally no person is using except YouTubers, right? I've never seen someone use Marmos Holy Relic, like, in actual practice. That is funny that he faced a Lost Vein. Because Lost Vane and Marmos are like best friends, basically. Because he wants the ultimate gauge, and Marmos is providing him the ultimate gauge. Thank God it's a bot. I actually would lose. I, I literally would lose. Would I? I mean, I, I don't know if Bond would die, because he's not really... Because one also, one also big thing about them together is that Marmos is lowering their defense. So that's that's huge. Yeah, actually, I don't think he would kill me. Like, he would do a lot of damage, for sure. I don't know about killing, because uh, even when I do use Lost Fade with Marmos, sometimes I don't just wipe them, right? Even though I'm lowering their defense by the absurd amount Marmos does. How much is it? It's is like 60% of defense with its stats Marmos lowers. It's like some crazy... Pretty sure like the... Yeah, 60%. I just, I just checked. 60% defense. Like, even when I lower that much, I still sometimes don't one-shot. So it goes to show. Wait. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna attack with you first, because I think that will kill Lost Vein. But I'm, I'm attacking twice. I'm attack lord though. Okay, I'm gonna attack like this. And then I ult. Marmus, kill Lost Vein. Yeah, baby. <laughs> oh my god. This could have been this could have been really bad. Okay, we're gonna... Terry is uh, showing up a lot, actually, in my videos. Fair enough, like, he's actually really fun to use. I'm surprised I never see Yagami, because I... I mean, maybe he's... Maybe I'm biased, but I really like Yagami. I really like Yagami. More than Terry, even. But fair enough, Terry is... Um, Terry's probably more popular. And everything. One big thing about Marmus as well is this, right? He seals buff cards. So, we're gonna ult him, we're gonna seal Margaret from cleansing. It doesn't seal the stances, though. The stances will... Um, we're gonna attack right after, right now. The stance will remove debuffs from Terry, but it's okay. How much we're talking? Pretty good. We got a bond card, no way. No way. Yeah, he cleanses because of his uh his grace. Not his grace. His holy relic. And Terry oh Terry is so good against Bond as well, huh? Because uh, lowering the HP is huge. Like I would have done way more damage if he didn't lower my HP. Twenty percent is huge. Let's shoot. Give me the bond cards. Got one, nice. Because he's gonna take off my ultimate gauge. 
And I could have actually played... Uh, I could have done a much better play by combining bond cards, putting up the HP and just putting up a counter. But he doesn't even have a takeoff ultimate gauge anyway, so I'm fine. But that would have been a better play, because then it would be guaranteed ultimate. Over this um, uncertainty I just had. Is he going to take off my ultimate gauge? Am I going to get an extra card? Am I dead? Lower defense. Although lowering defense isn't the hugest thing. Still helps. You know, it still helps. No card, no card. Hmm. Mono blue, not the greatest for Bond. But if we lower their defenses, we might just be able to uh, do good here. He's going straight for the alt with Margaret. Makes sense. Mm, I have to do this, even though he, he is going to cleanse. The defense lowering, he is going to cleanse. It's okay, though. So, in, in... At the end here, I must say, I think using Twigo in the front will give you more benefits than using Marmus. But it's not bad. I mean, I, obviously, if I had to pick someone, I would, I would go for Kyo. Like, that would be my first pick. 100% as someone should use here in the front and then it will be Twigo uh, But From R to R Twigo to, to uh, Marmus not bad No way no way look at her health. Are you kidding me? Are you joking if if Chandler didn't lower my stats by 6% she would be dead You're joking me that she actually survived with like 1 HP, like literally just 1 HP. Wow, and she's definitely 6-6. Six, six. Wow. Yeah, she's 6-6, six, six, of course. Oh my god. Jeez, I definitely lost. No. If I had Kyo, I would've killed. I think, I think that the Ignites would make me do more damage, because the thing is that I had to waste a a slot, one of the three slots of play, one of my, one of my turns, to actually lower their defenses, instead, this is a real player, I don't know why, why he just did that, is he just flexing on me, that my ult is going to do like negative damage? Damn, that's crazy. Because I would have actually buffed my HP and then attacked if I had Kyo. Yeah, my melt's doing negative damage because uh, I'm disabled, so I then double. Plus, he has super, super, super def uh, um, uh, damage reduction with both Tarmiel and Margaret. Damn. Well, Marvels was not bad. Not the best, but not bad.